Reverend Dave Christensen. I'm the director and lead investigator of Phantasm Paranormal. We're going to be doing an investigation this weekend at a place called Yankee Peddler West. It's an old building and uh, I'm getting ready to call the owner and uh, see if she's willing to do a uh, recorded interview with us. So give me a minute here. Hi, it's Jen. Hi, Jen. This is uh, Reverend Dave Christensen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm kicking. Thank you. I, I was going to call you earlier today, but I got so tied up. I'm so busy. It's unbelievable. I know. Get, you know welcome to the club. Oh, you too, <laughs> huh? Hey, uh, yeah. is, is it all right if I record our interview? I don't care. Okay, I have to confirm it with you legally, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, what, what can you tell me about uh, the Yankee Peddler West? The, the business itself, or the store, or, or the building, or what? A, a, little, a little bit of everything. Um, well, the Yankee Peddler West was... Uh, now, I bought... That was a former business that was there. So um, Vince O'Connor, Vince and Kirsten O'Connor owned that building. And I purchased it three years ago from them. And so he moved out, which was the Yankee Peddler West. He moved out, and then I moved in. Oh, so it's under a different name now? Yes, now it's under Chestnut Market. Oh, okay, yeah. I couldn't figure out what was going on because... You know, I had a, Ken gave me the name of Yankee Peddler West, and, and then I got your business name, and I thought, what, what's going on, you know? Yeah, okay. yeah. No, okay. that's what that's all about. Okay, yeah, I did a Google search and uh, found it in Google Maps, and I went down to Street View and uh, took a look at it, and it, it's an old building. It is an old building. Um, I can't believe, I can't remember... What exact year it was built? I want to say 1896, but don't quote me on that. Oh, I can check court records and find out, you know, go down to the courthouse and uh -huh. find out if I want to. But anyway, have have you heard of anything going on in there? Um, um, well, I personally have not had anything going on. Um, I know when I was uh, looking at purchasing the building um i worked there quite a bit with uh kirsten and vince who owned the building just to help them uh clean it out etc cetera, etc cetera. and i had asked them about that you know hey is there any kind of activity going on any ghosts at all and and kirsten just said well not any bad ones and i go oh okay all right well whatever and so i had just um when I was always working there, I just simply said, okay, I introduced myself, told them what I was going to do, um, and I've never had any issues. Now, I, um, I had one situation where, okay, there's two parts of the building on the, on the first floor. The first floor is divided, so I'm renting that other, it's like a, I can, there's a door so I can separate the two rooms. So there's two rooms, right? Okay. So before I had rented that out, um, I had that open to retail space. And I did have a um, an acquaintance of my, not really friends, but like a co-worker's husband, um, say to me in that, that additional room, uh, he's into the paranormal activity kind of thing too. And he had said, I just want you to know that there's a lady standing behind you out of nowhere. Huh. And I said, you know, that's kind of funny because I've been kind of thinking about that all day today when I was working in there getting ready for this uh, kind of an open house kind of thing that I was getting ready for. 
I said, for some reason, I was thinking about a lady. I don't know why, but I just was. And, you know, I didn't think much of it. So I thought, well, okay, yep, there is somebody probably here. Well, and then, and then um, so then um, I decided to close that part off, and I have another business renting that area, that part of the building out. Mm. And um, it is a business that helps adults with um, Down syndrome, autism, uh, uh, hearing impaired, blindness, those kind of things. So they're all older adults kind of thing. Right. And so it's a, uh, it's a state, uh, it's a government business there. So when they moved in, they were claiming they were having issues like doors or drawers of desks open. Um, the one particular drawer happens to have candy in it. And they thought, well, maybe it's a kid. Um, <laughs> just situations like that. And, um, I, you know, I just go, well, I don't really know what to do about it. I mean, I just, I, I guess I just always embraced it. And so I went up to the second floor then when all that kind of stuff was going on, and I said, okay, listen, you cannot be scaring these people. This is what I just explained what the business was. And it's kind of toned down a little bit. Um, I did, I was telling Ken, I had a, a situation where, um, and, and this is all daytime activity. So this is during the day. So I had a uh, couple that were from Oakland um, come in to shop, and um, it was towards the end of the day. And uh, this gal happened to be a nurse, which I am by degree. And uh, she was also the hospital chaplain up at the Oakland Hospital. And so we were just talking about the business and the building and et cetera, et cetera. And they were also looking for a piece, uh, like a piece of, uh, oh, stuff that they were looking for. And I said, you know what? I think I have, I think I have some of that up on the second floor. I said, why don't I just lock the doors? And I said, I'll just take you up because they were interested in what the rest of the building looked like because there's a second and third floor to it. Wow. And they go, oh, okay. So we went up and found the, the piece that they that I thought would work, and yes, it would. And so I was just telling them about we were on the second floor, and I was telling them about, you know, just some of the history that I knew about the building. And I can't even tell you the lady's name. She says, well, do you care if I do a, a blessing on your your business and, and hopes that it would go well. And I go, okay, sure, I'll, I can use any help I can get. Sure, great. Well, so she went into this whole blessing thing. Well, what I meanwhile, the business that rents for me, I guess there was all sorts of stuff going on with spirits or whatever. So I come, when we finished that, we come back down and I could hear screaming and hollering and I thought something happened to one of the gentlemen over there that has Down syndrome because sometimes he has some medical issues. So I opened the door and went over there and they were all just panicked. And I said, what's the matter? And one of the supervisors said, Jen, there's three of them. I don't know what the hell is going on. And I said, we were just doing a blessing upstairs. I wonder if that got them fired up. And and so I said, all right. So we kind of, that's kind of the stuff that's been happening. Well, what did the but spirits do? Just show themselves to the people there, or what? They kind of. She just says there's three of them, and I think just showed them, showed them, showed themselves. I she didn't explain. Now I I will say this on a couple of the gals over there, they tend to be drama kind of people, like constantly just. Drama, just drama, yeah, drama, everything drama, drama. Queens. Chaos and fun. Yeah. Yes, and so I just kind of just always just go, all right, okay, you know, I can't have you have you coming in and and because they're not doing anything. So I'm like, could you just kind of embrace it and just I can't have you screaming and hollering and stuff when I got customers in here and you can't be yelling ghosts and stuff. That just doesn't work. <laughs> so. um 
So we've kind of calmed that down, and I haven't heard anything lately. And they always got a sense that it was a lady, too, and they just named her Alice. So they're always talking about Alice. Alice? Alice. And I don't know why that is, but that's just what they do. So I think the main activity that they've had are something with drawers opening. Now, I had told Ken, I have been there of all hours of the night when I'm working and switching over. Sometimes I, I, when I'm switching over, like for Christmas season, I just work to wee hours of the night. You know, yeah. midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and going up and down, bringing all the Christmas stuff up. I've never once was scared nothing i i've never had any kind of encounter at all and i i told ken i don't know if it's because i have always every morning i come in i say good morning let's have a good day and before i leave i say see you tomorrow yeah. i mean i've always been like that in there and i've always just said like when they were given my the business that rents for me some issues i went upstairs and said okay you know and i explained the whole thing can you kind of tone it down a little bit and i and i told ken i said i don't know if they're just in a if if it's they're in a ruckus because it tends to get a little bit loud and stuff because sometimes they have outbursts and stuff like that is it are they irritated with that or sometimes that business has done things that I don't actually agree with, and I get a little bit aggravated or, you know, um, well, you know, what, like if you're renting a place out and you're just kind of like, okay, I wouldn't have thought to do that, but okay. So I don't know if this spirit or spirits or whatever, if they can kind of detect that maybe I'm a little irritated, that then they're looking out for me, and then that's why they're getting them fired up. That's You know what, what I'm doing. saying? Like. That's what they're so doing. So I think that they're, I think that I've just always, I mean, every morning, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the book, Jesus Calling. No. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's a daily devotional thing, and I have a calendar, so it, whatever the day is, it's kind of a daily devotion thing, and I read it out loud every time I go in there, you know, and it is what it is. So I don't, I don't know if... They just like me, or... That's they, it. I, That's they, it. Spirits. My house was very haunted when I first moved in, but that's a totally different story. But a lot of times, humans, they like interaction, okay? They like being around other people. And a lot of times, a spirit will do something just to get recognized, get attention. And with you going in the morning saying, good morning, you know, how's everybody? And being friendly to them, they're picking up on that. And they can get very protective of you. I've, I've, had, okay, cases, well, I've had cases where spirits actually defended somebody. Oh, cool. Well, I, you know, and I often joke with them, like when I've been there at midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, oh, my God, this place is the best. And I'll say, um, yeah, if you're here, why don't you grab a broom and help me out a little bit here? Because this is, I got a lot of shit to do in this building. Hey, could you grab a broom or something? I yeah. Mean, help a girl out. Come yeah. on. You know, so I've always done that. Um, I will also tell you, um, a previous owner prior to the people that I bought it from, her name was Helen. Um, owned the building. I'm not sure what year she owned the building, but for a length of time, I, I'm going to say 10, 20 years, she had a store in there which was called Helen's Gifts and Gourmet. Uh, Helen had three girls, and I have, since I bought the building, I met those three girls, and they're all older adults, and Helen has passed away. And they, they introduced themselves and told me, oh, our mom used to have a store in here, and we were kids, and we ran a ruck all through this building. You know, they were telling me all these fun stories. And they said to me, have you seen the ghost yet? And I said, no. I said, there really is a ghost? And they're like, yeah, my mom used to say how things would be moved from one place to the next place to the next place to the other place. And I said, I haven't had one problem, nothing. Hmm. So we've always joked about that. I uh, 
my husband, who is definitely one of those people that would have to see it to believe it, uh, to go, yeah, probably there might be something, but eh, I'm not going to get too worked up. He's an engineering farmer guy, and he's just very practical and very, you know. You're very just, skeptic. Yeah. Yeah. And he was upstairs um, in one of the rooms. Actually, it's a, a, a lot. You, when I show you the building, you'll, you'll understand. But in one of the rooms, um, and he was up there getting a piece of wood for me, and he was going through the wood, doing this and that or the other. And ironically, all those those daughters were there visiting, and, and Jeff said, I could hear you talking from, from, you know, you guys were cackling and laughing and carrying on downstairs. And he said, all of a sudden, he felt like somebody was standing behind him and whispered something in his ear scared the tar out of him. In fact, he had a two-by-four in his hand. He whirled around because he thought somebody was behind him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like he was going to turn around and hit him. Right. And he came downstairs and he said, I'm going to have to tell you, I think there's something up there. I just had somebody whisper in my ear. Did and he I say said, if it was a man okay. or a woman? Um, he thought at first it was me. Okay. He thought I was trying to, you know, at first, his, his first reaction was, it's Jen trying to scare me, and it, it made him, you know, he whirled around, and it was, he was going to be mad at me for doing that. Don't do that to me. Right. Um, he, he, I think he felt like it was a, a woman. Okay. But he says, I can't tell you what they said. It was just one of those things that you kind of quickly hear a whisper, and that's it, and it scares the bejeebus out of you. And, but otherwise, that has been the only really encounter I've ever that I haven't had personally but um, that's that's it and they haven't next door or the people that rent my part out haven't said anything lately so I don't know what's all going on you know I kind of just poo poo it a little bit because sometimes they can be a lot of drama over there and it's exhausting so yeah. Do you, do you think they'd be willing to talk to me if I stopped in there? Oh, they're full of drama, yes, they would. And I, I'm, 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 I'm not being negative, but there are lovely ladies in there. And love, I really respect the work they do yeah. with helping these adults that have some challenges. So, they, they yeah, I, I wouldn't think that they would have any issues with that. I, I would just, um, let's see, do I have a number off the top of my head? I could, I could, um, I think Kelly, who is over there, um, is the one that reached out to Ken. So I think Ken might have her number. Kelly? Yeah, Kelly is her name. Okay. Um, I think Ken, or she, re or he, Ken received a, uh, email from her. Oh. Which kind of irritates me that she didn't talk to me about that first before sending him the email. Do you well, see what, yeah. kinda me, what I mean? Yeah, it's like, I, what? So when Ken called, I was like, yeah, sure, come on over. I don't care. Yeah, great. Okay. Well, what I'll probably do is I'll probably stop in there to see if Kelly wants to talk. Um, okay. Is there any way that I can uh, get in there one of these, you know, tomorrow or Friday to take some pictures and get a grand tour. Yeah, I you, I'm open tomorrow from ten to five. From ten to five. I don't know what your schedule. Yeah, I don't know what your schedule is. Um, right. You can come before ten, or you can come after five, or um, depending on how busy it is. I could probably lock the door and show you upstairs, but um, I hate to do that and lock somebody out. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't in. want I don't want you to do that. What I'll do, I gotta stop in tomorrow at Deers and get a new battery put in my truck. And okay. uh, when I get done with that, then I'll swing by. If you're not busy, that's fine. If you are, I can come back later. It ain't no big deal to me. Okay. I've been retired okay. now for twenty years, so you know I can do whatever I want when I want. Well, I can't wait to get to that point someday. That'd be fun. Okay, so um, I'll, I'll be there by, I will probably be, I don't know what time you're coming into town. 
It probably coming, wouldn't coming be until town. afternoon. Okay. Because I got to call dealers yeah. and make an appointment with them, and, and I'll get my okay. battery done first. So when I shut my truck off out in front of your building, it doesn't uh, stay there. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well. Yeah. So yeah, you can come anytime. Okay. Yeah, I'll swing in and I'll bring my uh, uh, one of my digital recorders and I'll bring my camera. And we'll see if we can scrape up anything, you know, during my visit. But uh, I don't know what time Ken plans on being there Saturday night. I don't know if he talked to you about it yet or not. He did. I have to. I'll be done at the shop at um, 5 o'clock. Um, I told him I had to run into Elkhorn quick, but I would be home early evening. He just said, give me a call when you get back into town. Okay. You know, we were thinking maybe possibly eight, something like that. Okay, so, that, that sounds good. Now, is is there a way that when we leave, we can lock the doors and everything? Um, do what you, I probably will, I live close by, so what I may have you do is just call me when you're done. I will probably, I'll have you guys lock yourself in because we get all sorts of kind of sketchy people down there. Yeah, I know. At night. Yeah. That you got to be real careful with, and you know I just won't start the alarms or anything like that. And then I'll just have you call me when you're done, and then I'll just come, we'll just come down there and lock it all up, let okay. you guys out and lock it all up. Okay, that, if that sounds works good. Okay. okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, Jennifer, thank you for talking to me, and uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow afternoon sometime. All right, sounds like a plan. Okay, bye bye. All right, bye bye. Well, there you go. There you have it. I'm going to stop in there tomorrow afternoon with the digital recorder, take some recordings, and uh, take some pictures. And I'm also going to go next door to the business renting out from her and talk to Kelly and uh, see what they have to tell me over there. They might give us access over there too. Who knows, you know. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Come back for an SB.